Hello everyone, welcome back to our YouTube channel. Welcome back to Flamboyant Creations. Today we're going to do a DIY speaker for a preschool a concert. So we want to achieve this type of box or even how this one looks as well or how that one looks. So what we're going to need is a box. We're going to need bond papers for the details. We're going to need black draping paper, pencil, scissors, sellotape, and any round surface that you have in your house to make the circles or to make the details of your speaker. So let's get started. So we're going to then place our box here. So in the beginning, you have to decide what do you want? Which side do you want your speaker to face? So do you want it on this side or do you want it on that side? So that will determine how you're going to put your wrapping paper around your box. So my deciding factor was that these are the same size boxes. So I would like to actually have the speaker this way now on this side. I want the speaker to be on this side more than on this side. We're going to now take our wrapping paper and put it around our box. So we do this by now having a face forward, take it around, and then make sure that the, the wrapping paper is evenly distributed. By doing that, just gonna take your wrapping paper around. And once you've decided that okay, this is where I want it to stop, you want you want obviously you want the wrapping paper to be close to each other when you cut it. So just place something to hold the wrapping paper so it doesn't fall over when you want to make your cut. So we're going to now cut looking at which side you want to actually cut. So I'm just going to cut it. So this is what I mean. That your wrapping paper has to be close to that other one. So when you cut, it's actually that side. So you're just going to cut it. And voila. You have it secured. So as you can see, it's closer to this side. And I used my round surface to hold the wrapping paper. So now this is what the top will look like. So I'm just gonna take you back so that you can see how flat it has to be on the sides before I wrap it on the other side. So I'm just gonna take this round surface to hold my, my covering so I can take so once we have done the cut, now we have to make sure that it's evenly distributed. The, mid, the, the wrapping paper is evenly distributed before we put the sellotape. So this is the part where we need that sellotape we were talking about earlier. Um, so you're just going to take your sellotape and then... I think the best way is to also cut it, cut a few strips so you, that it's easier for you to wrap the, the box without you having to cut so many sellotape um, strips as well. So here I am just going to cut the strips that I need or that I'm going to use for now and then I'll put it on this side. Once that's done, you're going to take your sellotape. And then the part you saw on top, I'm just going to cover it. I'm just going to use my sellotape to secure it. So make sure it's tightened. And then do the same thing on the one, other side as well that you're doing in front. And then once that's done, you can now put your sellotape onto, the, onto your box. So this is how it looks like, as you can see. So... 
the nice part about having it evened out you can now start having to fold it so we're gonna have to fold so let me just show you how i'm going to do it on the one side so let me just put extra cellar tape to secure the middle of this So now this is how we're going to now wrap our our box so you make a fold on each corner like this if you want to make another fold this is just to make sure that we have this v or this triangle triangle on the one side so you just want to take some cellar tape and secure it secure the fold that you just made to do the same thing on the one on the other side that we did on that side so you're just also gonna do this thing so we're going to also secure this side just put in some tape Now we're going to do the same thing that we did this side on the other side. So the best way is to turn your box around. So once you have turned your box around, you're going to also do the V that you did that side or the folds that you did that side. So just make sure that it's straightened. So I just do this so that it's straightened. Then I can also make the folds this side. Once that's done, you're going to now use your cellar tape to stick that fold on that side. So we need a little bit more of cellar tape. So it's better to put your cellar tape on your table so that it doesn't get stuck and you don't get to continue to look for where it is. So you just have to, you have to just cut extra strips of cellar tape. So funny part is, uh, funny fact about flamboyant creation, we started with paper flowers and I've always wanted to do a preschool setup for a concert and God granted me my my dream <laughs> after a good six years but yes we thank God for it that I actually get to do this concert pops for Wolf to do so the concert for this Friday um, so when you're gonna get this video it will be actually passed so that I can so I can show you ending or how it ended up looking so so we're just gonna all this so sellotape this side make sure that we have that properly folded okay once that's done we're gonna do the same thing on this side so on this side I think what I'm gonna do I'm gonna show you from up there again Okay, so I'm just going to make the same folds that I did on the other side, I mean. Um, make those folds. Once you've made the fold, you take your cellar tape and then you stick it. And you do the same thing once you've made the fold. So just make sure that also um, you the space that's in between you have actually stuck it onto a box so that you don't have too many uh too much space in between the wrapping paper and the box so and we're just gonna do the fold again on this side so yeah once that's done I'm just gonna make sure that the spaces in between are also matched up. So I just do this and then I do the same thing on top. And then I do the fold. Once after I'm done doing the fold, I'm just gonna take my cellar tape and stick it. So we're gonna also use this small cellar tape to stick the side. And to also stick with the side. Okay. 
and once that's done what we're going to do is we're going to take our wrapping paper and measure where we want to put the excess and um, the extra wrapping paper so measure where you want to put the extra paper and then once you have checked where you want to put it you're going to then make a cut so i think we're going to put it here so don't forget to get something that can hold it before you cut it so then you just also need to know where you want to cut your wrapping paper we're going to cut it here So make sure when you're cutting, you cut as straight as possible. It can be also a little bit difficult, but just make sure you try. And then once that's done, we're going to also check on the sides what how much excess we need. So it's not so much, we don't need so much wrapping paper, so we're just gonna cut here. And we're also going to cut on the top but before we cut on the top it's better to actually then put your cellar tape to secure the one side that you you have cut out so here i am just putting the cellar tape if you do try this at home please sure send us a message or leave a comment if you're going to try it out and then do show us your your what you actually came up with on any of our social media platforms on instagram or facebook we have flamboyant creations zwsa on both facebook and instagram so you can actually show us what you came up with so once this side is done you're just gonna turn it around and then we're going to cut the excess so let's just and then to make it easier so you see what you're doing, just make a fold and then cut the fold. So once you cut the fold, you have the other side actually wrapped. And this is going to just make sure that you have the three the 4D or 3D effect that you want and everything is just covered in black for your speaker. So it's a prop, so something a little bit fun for kids as well. If you're going to have a birthday party, you can also incorporate like fake speakers for the kids. If you're going to have a concert celebration, if you're going to have a karaoke event, you can actually have these uh, props at your karaoke event for kids. Uh, if you're going to have a sleepover, these are just ideas that I'm thinking of that would actually make it a little bit cooler to have at your kids event so this is how we wrapped the other side so this is how our box is looking so far and we're going to do the same thing that we did that side we're going to do it here for the sake of the, the, of the video let me just do it again so that you can see it um, again so repetition is actually good so that it's easy for you to to get how to make it and how to achieve this box so let's just make a cut here so don't forget to put something that holds your wrapping paper let's just put it down that it's easier for me to cut and yeah i have to cut straight so actually another fun fact is making paper flowers taught me how to be patient and how to just love cutting i love cutting paper <laughs> and unmatched i actually love just cutting paper so once you're done with your cut you're just going to just sell the tape on the one side again and then make a fold where you want the paper to uh, to be cut I'm gonna make a fold. So yeah, I, I really love cutting paper. It's therapeutic in my own respect. Like, <laughs> I think this is a therapy that no one can give you. You can just 
create crafting is actually just good for the for the soul so if you love crafting or if you love diy projects i feel like it's good for your soul so do get to do that and do it for your child or do it for your preschool if you're a teacher do it for the kids that you you teach or for the for the concert of your school as well this is actually a beautiful idea so sorry i was just cutting extra tape on the side again um then i just have to stick make sure that i stick because with i feel like with this small sellotape is different from the biggest sellotape. The biggest sellotape actually covers a, a bigger space and it's more firm and easier to use. Whereas this sellotape, you need to put a little bit more so that it's secure and it doesn't come off easily. So, and you just turn it, you know, we're just going to turn our box around so that we can do the same thing that we did there. So, make a fold. cut so you see making a fold actually makes your life easier than just cutting without seeing what's going on because you might actually cut a little bit skewed or you might cut less than what you wanted to cut and it'll be like you you have to actually start again so after you're done you're just going to it's better to just actually just cut after you fold it that's the best way to go about it so yeah we well, love this is our box this is how our box looks like so remember what i said that at the beginning why you decide at the beginning why which side you want your speaker to go in the fact that if you're going to do the other side like this it won't look nice for the speaker so you actually want to make sure that um the side that you want to put the the details is is just like done once so this is the one side and then this is the other side that we did this is the other side that we did so we're going to show you how you achieve making the circles and putting them onto your making the circles and putting them onto your speaker or into your box your pop so if you do have excess excess um folds you can actually just fold it look facilitate and then just stick in it's just this is the space that i was saying that you must flatten out so that you don't have too much excess space in between but anyway i feel like it's okay so i'm going to show you next i'm going to show you how to achieve the round surfaces which is the circle of the of the box so now we're going to now do the detail of our box. So I forgot actually add pristine glue or paper glue. So um, this glue stick, we're going to use this glue stick actually. So remember we said we need the bond paper at any round service. So I just took this from our blender because I think the circle is just perfect. And then this is this as well that i showed you earlier so i'm going to make a circle so i think i can actually make this circle it's going to be a little bit bigger than that sun and so i'm going to just make a circle so where there's there's that thing i'm just going to move it on the side so that i can achieve my circle yeah there we go once that's done we're going to also make a circle with this one so make sure you put it in the middle as yeah centralize it as as much as you can and you're just going to make a circle so voila this is our speaker so we're also going to do a small um circle as well so that we can also have some a different effect or different detail on this speaker that we're going to do on the one side so remember we're going to use the other side this is just where we stuck so please don't pay that in mind so we're just going to also use well this is quite 
not as small as I want it to be. When we look for another round surface that's going to be smaller than that. So we're going to use this mark to, so you just centralize it where you want to put the circle. Just make sure also it's in the middle, as much in the middle as you can. All right, once that's done, you're just going to draw to draw your circle again. Bring it together. Okay, and this is when we need our scissors. So we're going to cut around the circle. So as you can see, making a pop is actually not as hard as it may look. It's easy. You use everything that you probably will have in your household, like empty boxes or boxes that you use or that you keep in the garage. So here you're just going to make a hole and cut on the side, but you can cut in the middle of the circle. So we start to cut around our circle again once so yeah like i was saying that as you can see those round surfaces that we use this marks and it's um it's cork stars that we already have it's it's a lot of things that you actually will have even pot leaves my mom was even telling me that i should use the lid from the pot <laughs> to make the circle but actually i didn't need to because the circles that i wanted to use were a little bit um smaller than that so i'm just going to just finish up cutting the other circle smaller circle that i want to use okay Once that's achieved, you're just going to also make another hole in the middle and cut on the side to get to the side. I'm going to cut at the side. So if you have any other questions on how I, I do things, please do let us know in the comment section as well. Just let me know what you'd like to know or what you'd like me to do next. I would love to just be with you guys and learn together and do those things together. So now that I'm done with the circles, I'm just going to show you where I want to place them. So, so now you have to choose which side you actually want to do the details of the box. I think I'll do this side. And I'm going to use this side. So we want to place it here. And the smaller one will place it here. So now we're just going to take the glue that I was showing you that we need. So I take the glue. And then we're going to put it around the circle that we made. Put as much glue as you can so that it doesn't come up like the the circle doesn't come off of your your pop so sticker pop so just now you have to just place it where you want it to go and then just go around to make sure that the glue is evenly distributed and it has stuck on the box once that's done we're going to also take the small circle and now put it on top so we're going to do the glue again take it around Okay, 
once you're done, you're just going to now put it in the middle. Oopsie, sorry. Going to put it in the middle. our speaker and voila that there goes our speaker this is how you make your speaker prop so i'm gonna see if i'm going to do something fun so that it will be a little bit glittery because the concert is going to be in the evening so i'm gonna look for glittery paper so that i can put it in between even on the other boxes as well so yeah stay tuned let's just make circles and see if i like how they look so I'm just gonna see if we put a circle like there, here, there, or even skip a few, how it's going to look. So let's just make a little bit of circles. So this is the glitters that I'm going to use. But let me actually draw at the back of it. I'm just gonna do just four so that I can see I can show you on this screen and then I'll do the other one off the screen so yeah so like I said with the circles you can find anywhere in the house you see we're actually now using our glue stick circle to um lead I mean we're using our glue stick lid to do the circles which is quite cool so once that's done we're just going to cut that, then make the circles. Then I'll show you how it's going to look. So this is actually an exciting project for me. I'm actually enjoying it. I'm enjoying doing it and thinking of other ways to do it. So yeah, I can't wait to show you the other stuff that I'm going to be doing for the concert. This is quite exciting. Um, we'll be doing my first concert or our first concert as number one creation. It's, I love being thinking outside the box. And I love how I was given the room to actually do so as well. Uh, how they trusted me and thinking of what I want to do for the concert. They had already told me what the concert theme is. So all I had to do was to think of how I'm going to incorporate um, the, the, the stuff they had spoken about. So here's what I was th saying or thinking. I'm going to put this round. Um just going to use the glue around here then we're going to just stick it in the middle and we're going to do the same thing here but I just also feel like with the bigger boxes I don't know if we would need to make it this small again but yeah just going to stick it around put it in the middle okay then voila that's our box I'm gonna just do the other one on the bottom this is the other box that I made I'm gonna put this in the middle like I was saying earlier you need to make sure that the glue is you put on enough glue so that it doesn't come off 
of your speaker. But anyway, voila. Here is our final result of our speaker. This is the one we made today. Thank you so much for watching. Please hit that subscribe button. Leave us a like and a comment and hit that notification button as well. Thank you so much for staying tuned and I hope you learned a thing or two on how to wrap your DIY speaker for a concert or your birthdays. Uh, thank you so much for watching.